Well, I'm excited to have Ben Gottdiener here today on the Atlanta VoiceOver Studio podcast. He is the CEO of Narrative AI. He's a graduate of Columbia University, and he was a previous deal, deal team associate, that my Southern just came out on that one, with Bain Capital's Partnership Strategies Fund. And we are so excited to have him here today because if you followed Atlanta VoiceOver Studio, you know we are all about embracing technology in a way that still honors the voice talent and and the industry. And I think Narrative is doing that. In fact, their whole mission is to be a marketplace for advertisers to license talent audio AI likenesses. But we'll get into more of that. I know some of you guys are raising your eyebrows right now. Just hold on, hold on. And Narrative just entered into a major agreement with SAG-AFTRA as part of its commitment to using only AI that has been ethically trained. I told you, hold on for just a second. So Ben, thank you so much for joining us today. I'm so appreciative and I'm so excited to kind of dive deep today. Great to be here and I'm excited to dive in. Okay. So first of all, what is your, the elevator pitch for Narrative? You got a bunch of it already, but what we are is a marketplace for advertisers to license talent AI voice and use it to make advertisements, broadly speaking. The way that I would frame this would be, what have other AI companies done and what does the AI landscape look like today, right? We're kind of living, and I don't, I don't know if I'm dating myself a little bit by using this analogy, but we're kind of living in a Napster world right mm -hmm. now where I can use anyone's voice for any application and there's almost no regulation and there's no... There's no place historically that I've been able to go to where I can actually buy the legally okay version or license the legally okay version of someone's voice. There's no iTunes, right? What we're trying to produce is the actual, uh, maybe iTunes is a little grandiose, but we're trying to create the right platform for advertisers to legally license someone's voice. Gotcha. What's baked into that are a few different components. So it's the three um, C's, right? So, or fair compensation, control, and consent. Mm -hmm. But those, some people might just view them as buzzwords. So the question is, how are you actually implementing that? And the implementation on our site looks like the following. So talent sets their own price. They control which advertisements actually go live since every ad made on our platform has to be subject to talent review and approval. And then with respect to control, we're effectively just digitizing the SAG-AFTRA, a few different SAG-AFTRA contracts here. And that digitization is the control, right? So it's the structure mm -hmm. that the advertiser needs to actually work with AI talent ethically. Mm -hmm. So from our perspective, what's the benefit? The benefit is now you're able to take control back of how your AI voice is used. Broadly speaking, you control where it actually is deployed, what it says, everything like that, which you just can't do today. Right. There's no other place. Yeah. And you get paid for it, right? So you, <laughs> you get, get paid, paid passively right. or near passively. Um, because it's just a couple of minutes review work. Mm -hmm. And if you don't even want to do that review work, you can incorporate your agent or your manager into the platform and they can do that on your behalf. 